so now when we are discussing about this whole flexibility deployment you know cops expertise all these things uh here what is the first security as a service so you know security as a service provider they offer different capability as a cloud services this include dedicated security as a service providers as well as package security feature from general cloud computing providers as well so security as a service it encompass a very wide variety of possible technology but they must meet some of the criteria okay here like it's this one here so security as a service include you know so your security product or you know here we are talking about the few things simple like the security as a service must include security product or services that are delivered as a cloud service and to be considered security as a service a service must still meet essential nist characteristic for the cloud computing and what was those characteristic five characteristic if you remember b r r o m major service right this was the drum that was going over here so you know when you are following so the service which is providing this it should be the drum as it will be not considered the cloud service over here now let's just talk about you know where we were talking about the some of the tools so nowadays tools has been evolved a lot you know the security as a service tool so the current state of security as a service which is defined by the gartner as gartner pointed out in you know uh, in the 20, in, i think it was the report of the 2019 that the future of network security is in the cloud and the enterprise data center they are no longer the center of access requirement for user and devices and even that report goes to say that the networking and security model that has effectively been turned upside down from the time it was developed now the user who are on the local network are consuming application that are coming from the cloud so you know that is happening now identification mark is going you know identification mark is that more user traffic is going to the cloud service than to the your data servers like you know more work is of the network it is going towards the cloud mode and more work is being performed on the network than the you know than on it okay so more work is performed off than on it and more saas application are in use than those hosted locally so these things are happening all around us and we have to keep an eye over here right these are the development in the current state of the security as a service and to be honest because you know uh, i also take the sessions on the azure sentinel okay uh, your sc200 which is consisting of your microsoft 365 defender your defender for endpoint and uh, your kql and then your uh, as you said right so you know we are you know taking those sessions as well so the security you know even the simple i'm saying that you know you have to take your logs to the uh your on premise sim tool that is also being kind of uh, you know changed right now even alien world you know uh, they are having their own utm service now and most of the sim vendors they are also start moving towards the cloud services because what happened you know there come the microsoft sentinel although it is not a perfect to be honest it's still bug like if you have to do the api connection still it will be talking about you know that you need to register yourself for this you know uh, testing purpose and all those kind of a thing you know not allowing to directly create apis for ourselves but yes still it kind of disrupt the market and many of my clients are coming from the middle east that you know we are trying to shift over to the sentinel and even in india you have to copy batches so from that flow that is coming and you know a lot of people are being waiting for the same batch so i come to a conclusion which is simply saying that 
you know people start moving to the cloud even those things which we consider one time that you will be only on the on premise right they are moving to the cloud and the one of the benefit that we were discussing keeping the logs over there and keeping them for a longer period of time storage you know when you are collecting logs on the cloud you don't have to worry about the space like you know there is no not going to be issue that i have to keep this log for this long period and if i you know my organization is big the uh, you know the size also going to be big and i need to go ahead and i am going to run out of storage and i need to additionally you know in charge something or you know manually going to the hardware and installing things creating this scenario those kind of things become easy so people they move towards the your applications over there so in the same process we'll be talking about this some of the advantages of security as a service over there so let us take a you know minute and just review these benefits that is in there so first you know we'll be talking about first and foremost is you know going to be with the you know if i will say okay i think i have put it on the very last but i would like to start with the something like the expertise and the staffing over there so when we are talking about this many organization what they do they struggle to employ train and retain the security professional across the relevant domain of the expertise so this can be exacerbated due to the limitation of the local market high cost of specialist and balancing the day to day need with the high rate of attacker innovation so with your security as a service what is happening now you know you will be finding that you don't need to be an expert you know you need to train them the whole over there so in the cloud services they are already giving you their support you know they have their own information their own threat intelligence they will be just feeding you they will be having predefined rules in their own languages like microsoft sentinel use the custo query language so they will be already having those custo query language your know, rules over there so you will be using them of predefined analytic you know analytic rules you will be using them going ahead and simply start you know uh, working around them so you don't need to train your employees from the very very basic so they can simply use the intelligence or the experience of the your service providers right so there is that is helping you over there itself first of all second you know when we are talking about this thing so there, there is going to be the you know, because we were talking about this thing uh, intelligence sharing and benefit of cloud so great deal of intelligence sharing that happens since you know uh, it's cloud providers that's working with the multiple clients simultaneously for example they find a malware sample on the one client that allows the provider to immediately add this to their defense platform itself that will be over there and okay so this is the one thing now when we whenever it come to the you know your deployment and deployment security as a service it may be better positioned to support evolving both space and cloud migration since it itself is a cloud native model delivered using the your you know broad network access and elasticity capability so it gives you the flexibility in the deployment so this is you know there is the installation of client where security as a service can intercept attack before they hit organization directly for instance if there is a spam filtering cloud based web application firewall that are positioned between the attacker and the organization they can absorb the certain attack before they can even reach to the your cloud asset so it will be benefit you know beneficial for both the parties that you know yes that is there and you know you just using with their information and you just you know being over there and finally when it come to the you know cost or scaling right the cloud model provide the consumer with the pay as you go or pay as you grow model which also help organization to focus on the their core businesses that what they require right and uh, all things are not roses and gold in the your security as a service there are going to be the, some of the issues as well and when we are talking about the secure so first thing is going to be the lack of your visibility since services operate on a remote location away from the customer 
so, no, they often provide less visibility of data compared to the running you know your own operation the provider may not reveal the detail of how they have implemented its own security and manages its own environment so lack of visibility is going to be there and even if you look from the regulatory perspective there are many global regulatory requirement that security as a service provider may be unable to assure compliance within all the jurisdiction that organization operate okay this is also with the handling of regulated data customer will also need assurance that any regulated data potentially vacuumed up as a part of routine security scan or security incident is handled with accordance with the any compliance requirement that as a client i am having if i am having the my requirement my data should be handled according to the you know this particular rules or law you know that should be happen so this time sometime you know that because if you will look into this kind of data you know the next thing is the data leakage if you are looking at the data that you are using and it is related to your whole infrastructure logs it is more sensitive in nature okay so as with any other cloud computing or product there may be always a concern of the data from one cloud user leaking to the another so this risk i would say it is not unique to the security as a service but it is very highly sensitive in the nature of the security data this means security as a service provider should be held the highest standard of multi tenant isolation as my security data could be leaked to be some other users as well the multi tenant environment okay although you know when we are talking about uh, switching the your security as a service provider on the surface like it you know look like very easy task like swapping out the on premise hardware and software and you know, organization may be concerned about the your lock in due to the potential losing across the data when you are trying to switch provider this kind of data you know like if i'm simply talking about object data so object data is stored in the azure bit differently and in the s3 bit differently there will be the whole process that what you need to change if you are changing from one end to another end so these things they do happen a lot of a time so you have to you know think about them as well now although you know switching seems easy but not always all the resources services will be supported in the other provider itself now migration to your security as a service for organization that have existing security operation maybe you know on on premise right using the some legacy security control solution so the migration of security as a service and the boundary and interface between any in house department and security as a service provider must be well planned exercised and maintained itself in this whole process that is good in there